Hello everybody. This is Bill Baxter from Badge Frame. Uh, today our video is dealing with the problem which is uh, never good. Problems of frames or backboards bowing, warping, and making our beautiful pieces look like crap on your wall. I'm grateful to say this problem has only happened a handful of times but uh, nonetheless needs to be addressed and corrected. We've had some people call, tell us that their pieces are either bowing out from the wall on the outside edges or out from the middle. Uh, this is occurring on a few of our magnetic org charts that we have shipped. As you know, if we have shipped you items, our pieces are always packed extremely well and we would never ship you a piece that was bowing or warping. This is occurring during transportation or after arriving at the destinations. Heat, humidity, storage, all of those could adversely affect products. Um, if you are having a Boeing issue with any of our pieces, I would very much like to hear about it. This is a security hanger type of a setup. The parts required for this procedure are all in a plastic bag that either came with your piece or were mailed to you with printed instructions. Uh, now let's go through the steps in order that will fix your Boeing issue. First of all, place your framed piece face down on a suitable flat surface. Make sure there is some kind of padding so that your frame does not get scratched. A special note here, all of our current org charts already have these attachments installed on them. So if your piece is not bowing or if you do not need the extra security these attachments offer, please disregard the parts. Okay, secondly, we will install the security attachments to the bottom of the frame. If your bowing issue requires both sides to be pulled closer to the wall, we will install two security hangers, one on each side of the frame, uh, as this video will illustrate. If your bowing issue requires the center of the frame to be pulled closer to the wall, you will only need to use one of the attachments installed in the center of the frame on the bottom. Okay, to install these attachments, we will measure in from the edge of the frame five inches and make a mark and then 5 eighths up from the bottom of the frame and make a mark there. This will be the center point for the security attachment. Use the two small screws to attach this to the frame making sure that the center point you marked stays in the center of the attachment. We will then do the same for the other side of the frame. 5 inches from the edge and 5 eighths up from the bottom. Use the screws to secure the attachment as before. Okay, next we will deal with the wall. You will need to have your wall portion of the Z-Bar installed to continue with the next steps. First, hang the piece on the Z-Bar as usual. We will now mark the wall to know where to place the T-screws that will fit into the attachments you just installed on the frame and ultimately will turn, lock, and hold the frame tight against the wall. Okay, with your frame hanging from the Z-Bar, make a pencil line on the wall that starts from the exact corner of the frame and extends about six or seven inches in toward the center. We will do this for each side of the frame. Make sure your line begins exactly at the outside edge of your frame. We will then remove the frame from the wall and put it aside. From the end of your wall pencil line, go in exactly five inches and make a mark. Then go up from that mark exactly five eighths of an inch and make another mark. This last mark will be the target for your T screws and wall anchors. And do the same thing on the other wall mark five inches in. 5 eighths up. Okay, we're going to use a quarter inch drill bit and drill holes into your wall using the marks as targets. 
If you are going to, and to cement, you will need a 5 8, 5 16 drill bit or just tweak the hole larger to accommodate the anchor with the quarter inch. Uh, insert the plastic wall anchors into the holes. This is important. It will hold your screws tighter. Don't skip that step. Uh, plastic wall anchors into the holes. Then insert the T screws into the anchors. The T screws need to extend out from the wall about 3 16 and end up at a horizontal orientation. This will allow the T screws to fit into the horizontal slots on the frame attachments when placed back on the wall. Okay, we're ready to rehang the frame on the Z bar. Go ahead and do this and position the frame horizontally so that the frame edges end where your wall lines start. This should allow the screws to insert into the attachments on the frame when the frame is pushed back toward the wall. You will now need to use the supplied security wrench to reach behind the frame and turn your T-screws one quarter turn to the left to lock them onto the frame. You may need to adjust the amount that the T-screw extends from the wall should you have problems grabbing the T-screw shaft with the security wrench. Once you turn the T-screw vertically and it locks into the frame attachment, you will feel it pull the frame tight against the wall. You do this on both sides of your frame and you're good to go. Should you have any problems or questions, please give me a call. I would be glad to help you with them. I'm Bill Baxter at Badge Frame. Our toll-free number is 800-639-3726. Uh, you can visit us at uh, www.badgeframe.com. And uh, if you're watching this problem-solving video at my request, I know you've had issues with your product. We apologize for the inconvenience and we'll do whatever's necessary to make your experience with Badge Frame second to none. Let us know how things work out and if we can be of any further assistance. Okay? Thanks again. Bye for now.